Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today, so I'm going to be redoing my wedding day makeup. I definitely think if I were to get married today, it would look a lot different than what I would have done on my wedding day when I actually got married. I hope you guys do like this video. And the one thing I didn't do on my wedding day was I didn't moisturize before I did any sort of makeup, which is a bad thing. I always think you should go in with some sort of moisturizer before you do your makeup. This has honestly changed my makeup game and you, I can't even explain how much it has. I would rather moisturize my face and not wear any sort of primer. And that's usually what I do on days when I'm doing like a quick makeup look. So I'm just going to rub that in. So I don't think I talked about my wedding on my channel at all. Next we're gonna go into the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm really just, I'm really just gonna be using this in this area. I'm just gonna take a finger and just kind of Press all of that in. So we're gonna go into brows. I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow in the shade Neutral Brown. We're also using the Maybelline Eye Tattoo or Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown. I don't remember exactly what place we found my dress at, but I was trying on a bunch of these dresses. Um, there was one that was literally a pink version of Belle's dress from Beauty and the Beast and that and it was like it wasn't like pink like my hair or this dress It was a very soft baby pink that literally looked the color was stunning If I didn't find my actual wedding dress, I probably would have gone with that one because it was just so Beautiful. I tried on all these dresses and they had everything I wanted. They had the corset backing They had the sweetheart's neckline. They were a line. They they had they literally had everything but something About the dress Just didn't feel right like it looked good like there's nothing wrong with it It just something didn't sit well. I'm like this doesn't feel like the one the second place we went to trying on dresses I looked I was in a dressing room at the very, very like end of it, and there just so happened to be a dress that was just kind of like wadded up, shoved in a corner. And I looked at it and I'm like, huh, this looks something I would like. So I asked the representative, I was like, hey, you know, I like this dress. Is it okay if I try it on? She's like, oh, well, it's not your size, but you know, it looks like it's just a lace up so we can, you know, you can make it fit. So that's what we did. We tried on that dress. My mom starts tearing up and she's like, Jen, all those dresses look beautiful on you, but this is you. And I was like, this, like this was the dress. Like that was the dress. I just felt it, I'm like this was me in a dress. They had to chop off quite a bit of it because I'm so short. So that was the only dress that they had. They didn't have anything else like that anywhere in the store. They said that they got that, I don't know if they got that from China or Japan, they got it from somewhere overseas and that was the only one that they had there and that was it. There's like a complete like white piece that goes into the dress that kind of snaps so it covers your back, you don't see your skin through it and we just had to adjust that to my size and really that's about it that's all we had to do and obviously chop off the length but that was the only dress that they had there and I couldn't believe that it just it, ha it happened to be fairly inexpensive compared to what I thought it would be and this dress now that I think about it this dress was literally seemed like it was made for me it was made for me to find that dress it was just so it was the odds of me finding that one dress when they only had one in the store were so, it's just so crazy to think that that was the dress I was meant to get and it just so happens per chance. I just stumbled upon it. You know, she could have said, oh, it doesn't fit you and I could have said, yeah, okay, whatever and would have settled for that other pink dress, but I was adamant. My mom really didn't get teary-eyed and I didn't get really teary-eyed until I tried on that dress and that's when I'm like, yeah. And that's my dress. I wanted to share that dress with him so badly. Just, I think I just told him it's me in a dress and he was like, oh, okay. And he, we, he just kind of left it at that, left it at that. It's pretty funny because he's not the best when it comes to surprises. So like if I say, oh, I got a surprise for you, he, he's not able to wait. 
So, like, I can't really say, oh, I've got a surprise for you. It's more of, here, this is your surprise, or whatever. I can't, he just, he gets impatient and all that. And I, I remember when, when we first got engaged, we specifically remember telling him, I'm not gonna tell you I have a surprise for you and like wait a week to tell you. The only thing I will ever have that's a surprise will be my wedding dress. And he said, okay, that's fine. So on my wedding day, I believe I wore the Maybelline Fit Me and I think I even use it as my eyeshadow primer as well. So instead of going in with concealer, I'm going in with a color corrector. I find that, that using a color corrector, that's kind of a mid-tone kind of beigey pink. Or like a salmon color I find it just looks so much better I would really just be going into right where I have the bags underneath my eyes so I'm going in with my AOA Studios contour stick in the shade nude and I'm just gonna go ahead and contour right in there and then I'm also that I'm also gonna contour right in there I'm not someone who really contours their nose, but I do like to contour the bridge of it because I think it kind of makes everything tied together and gives the illusion of contouring it when I don't think my nose is actually contourable. We had this beautiful marble cake and I really didn't know what kind of wedding cake I wanted. I was like, oh, I'll just make it white, make it have like roses on it, you know, whatever. As soon as I went in there, they happened to have a display. I happened to look up and there was this beautiful marble, like gray and black and white marble cake. I thought absolutely looked stunning. And then she's going through, you know, oh, this is what we have, you know, this is what we can do. Because I really didn't know what I wanted in a wedding cake. So the lady went and walked away, I believe. And she's like, you know, take some time, look through this, and now I'm going to help the customers. So I'm sitting here looking at this. She's like, you know, Jen, that cake over there, I mean, she's, and my mom said, I'm not throwing out any idea. I'm not, you know, this is just an idea. She's like, what do you think of that marble cake? And I'm like, you know what, I was just thinking about that. I was literally like like huh thinking about that marble cake uh, going into blush i'm gonna be using milani t rose this is the original blush that i wore on my wedding day so when the lady was done helping the customers um i said you know i think i have you know the wedding cake i want and she's like okay and i said you know that marble cake really seems to fit with our wedding we wind up deciding on was we wanted i don't remember how many tiers i think it might have been two or three tiers of a black and white marble so it's like an, so in in all reality it's gonna look black it's going to look black gray and white and then what she's gonna do is she's gonna she was gonna take lace and kind of put it around every tier and then she was gonna have fake roses which I had to purchase and send to them a couple weeks before the wedding and then we had her make a little cameo of a woman that we had picked out like a like a chocolate mold of a cameo woman in which she put right on the front which was absolutely perfect and i'll try and put a picture right here so you guys can see but it was perfect the cake was so good we just went with a very basic vanilla buttercream nothing nothing fancy when it came to the food my mom my family really helped out with me preparing the food that was one thing that i was really happy about that we did that we made our own food um we didn't go anywhere to get it catered or anything my family and i would say i would say my whole family on both sides are are really good cooks like i got when growing up i was very blessed that both of my parents were really good chefs. Well, not chefs, but they're really good cooks. So for the food, we wound up going for baked ziti with um, pepper, sausage and peppers, that was as like a side. And then we had um, meatballs, I think. And I feel like there might've been a side salad. I don't think there was. And then there was bread, maybe. 
And so editing Jenny popping in to say that we also had like a veggie tray full of like carrots and celery and olives and cucumbers and tomatoes and i think there might have been ranch dressing there to dip it in i don't think there was and then we also had like cheese balls that are made of like sour cream and like um baby bell not baby bell like the laughing cow kind of cheese and you mix it all together and then you add a bunch of stuff into it and then you use it as like a spread we also had that as well that you can like dip the vegetables in and that was really really good but let me tell you, there was a lot of Italian cookies there. There was a lot. That was one thing that I, I don't remember if I was, yeah, I remember I was making the cookies too. I think we had pizzelles. Um, I don't remember the kind of cookies we had. I'm sure my mom will like fill me in and I can probably post about it because I don't remember the cookies that we had. So for highlighter, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Shimmering Highlighting Powder in the shade Pearl Glow. This is perfect if you're as fair as I am. So I'm just gonna put that on my cheekbones and nose. But this is just such a beautiful highlighter. We're gonna be going into the Maybelline Lasting Fit. So I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. Shadow Lock Primer in the shade Sheer. We're just gonna go ahead and put that on. We're gonna be going into my Tarlet in Bloom palette and I'm gonna be going into the shade Sweetheart right here. And I'm just, and I'm just gonna be putting that into my crease and outer V. This is a very pinkish, rosy shade. And for our anniversary, we went to Nashville, Indiana. And we pretty much just walked around Nashville, went to a lot of the flea, not flea markets, but went to a lot of the boutiques and stores that they have up there. And we pretty much just walked around the whole time. It was really, really nice. Still very hot. Um, I. I think it was really hot. I think I wore a dress that day. I don't exactly remember what I wore. So my goals for the wedding makeup that I did, I just wanted it to look really, really natural. I didn't go for browns or anything. I went for like a really beautiful rose gold and like a, like a lot of blush tones because those I believe flatter me the absolute most. I'm gonna be dipping in lightly into Jet Setter and we're going to lightly dust this into the outer V and into the crease. I could have gone in with like some browns and stuff but I think at that point in time, whenever I did my wedding makeup, I didn't have the right kind of tones of brown that looked the most natural. So that's why I kind of st stayed away from them the most. Then I'm going to be going into my e.l.f. blush. I'm going to be grabbing a little bit on the brush and just kind of going on top of that very, very lightly to kind of add in some of that rosiness. So for mascara, I'm going into my... Rimmel London Volume Accelerator Mascara, and I have the shade Extreme Black. Everything else is done. I'm going to go into my lip color, and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Rebel Rose. I wore this one on my wedding day. This is honestly a tried and true color. I love this color. 